Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. This is a special one. This is the Tony Stewart 2006 Old Spice um, Sprint Car. This is from Motorsports Authentics or the Extreme one. Uh, basically it's Action, Lionel, whatever you would call it. Same brand, all that stuff. It's not the R&R &R ones, so... Um, Get some better paint, I'm not going to lie, you get better paint, they're metal, but you don't get uh, the detail necessarily, but we'll go into that and take a look here uh, as we get into it, but we'll start off with the box, um, got Motorsports Authentics box there, Tony Stewart, Old Spice, number 20, that's about it, just kind of some different designs there, uh, same thing down this side here, uh, and the same thing up there, so pretty basic on the box, we just got Tony Stewart, Old Spice, um, and then just kind of logos and, and patterns, no, no pictures or anything like that. Uh, there you can see one of 1200 sprint car uh, from 2006 old spice uh, and then tony stewart obviously so let's go ahead and take a look at this die cast this thing is a beautiful beautiful car and it's only because of one thing and it's the color look at this metallic apple can candy apple red i mean this thing is gorgeous look at that color that color is gorgeous Please, somebody in NASCAR, run this color at some point so we can see this color on a die cast again because it is freaking gorgeous. I love this color. Um, I'm gonna. I, I'm not afraid to gush over it. This color is amazing. Um, we'll pull the top wing off quick, and we'll see if I can get underneath to see the engine detail. I may have to pull the. Nope, I didn't. Good. That front wing's a little bit of a picky thing sometimes. So we'll get down to the detail. There you can see the engine detail. Uh, we've got the radiator, some cooling lines. There you can see the pipes, um, tailpipes coming off there. We've got uh, the air filters up top there. Um, as I said, we've got the radiator up in the front. So pretty decent engine detail, nothing crazy. You can see the wheels turn, and it does move the steering column there, but the uh, steering wheel does not move, so just the... Um, the tie rod there. Um, we've got the rear axle you can kind of see underneath. We've got the brake rotor and the chain drive in there. Um, so that's kind of neat. Another one of those aspects. Uh, this is DIN 1032. 1082. Okay. So this is DIN 1082 um, of whatever that number. I think it was 1200. So um, not a ton in there. Um, there, as you can see, the hood. We got the number 20 on the front. Then that candy apple red. Or I think that's the color, but my gosh, what a beautiful color. I mean, this is a gorgeous sprint car. Um, it's already been sold on, oops, it's already been sold on eBay. I'm almost kind of disappointed I let it go, but um, it sold for quite a bit, so I'm fairly happy there. But this car is gorgeous, so whoever got it, um, you you did, did a great job. This is a fantastic looking car. You're going to love it. Um, this car looks amazing. Um, so we'll pop that back down on there. And then you can see we've got the wing up top. We got Old Spice, and again that color is still there. We got Mopar, Eldora. So it was just a Mopar engine they would run. You can see Bass Pro, Old Spice, number twenty, Arctic Cat, uh, JD Brider. Um, we've got Goodies, Home Depot, Simpson, Hoosier, all of them. But uh, again, at the end of the day, you can see that color is just there. Just an awesome, awesome color. I mean, that's the the biggest thing to admire about this car, is the uh, the color of it. Because I've got some a couple of Casey Kane and a and a Kyle Larson sprint car, um, from these same you know builds or the same type, but uh, none of them really compare to this car in terms of the color and the finish on it. It just looks so good. So um, absolutely, I highly recommend for any Tony Stewart fan. Honestly, any dirt fan can earn this car. This car is just so good looking. Um, because of the color so this car was brand new when I found it at a pawn shop um, I was really happy to find that it was a really cool ad that I could use so I decided to go ahead and pick that one up and I'm um, pretty happy with it. I think it's definitely one of the cooler sprint cars out there. Again, uh, almost a little disappointed I had let that one go to eBay, but um, at the end of the day, I've got too many cars, and um, I was going to keep the Casey Kane ones over the Tony Stewart. So uh, if you have enjoyed the video, though, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that sprint car and that gorgeous paint color. Um, that'll pretty much wrap up the video for me. This has been Race Craze, and I'll see you in the next diecast review.